Hi everyone, Melissa Gallo from Painted Textures. Today I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor painting from an image by using my new watercolor collection and Photoshop actions. So let's get started. For this tutorial I will be working in Photoshop CS6. This was the original image. It was shot in my studio in natural light using a 70 to 200 millimeter lens at f-stop 2.8. As you can see, this image does need some work. So the first thing I'm going to do is run my Super Sharp in action, like so. And I can paint away some of that effect by going on this white mask here and using a nice soft black brush over here, black in the color picker. I have my brush tool selected, a nice soft round brush. But I like it the way it is. I might just pull back on the opacity a little bit and leave it like that. Layer, Merge Visible. The next thing I want to do is get rid of the wrinkles that are in the background. And a real fast way to do that is to run the Super Blur, like so. And it'll tell you to select white as your foreground color. So we make sure that white is there in the color picker. And we press on the black mask, like so. B for brush, and get a nice soft brush, and use the right bracket key to enlarge it. And you start painting away these wrinkles. It doesn't have to be too perfect because the texture is going to obliterate a lot. But we're going to help it along a little bit and get rid of some of these wrinkles like this. And if you happen to go over the petals and you want to pull them back in, you can always change your brush color to black. And I'm using my left bracket key to reduce the size of my brush and bring some of those details back in. But you might not want to. So, like so. I'm going to go back to white because I want to blur out the base of this bowl here maybe the edges a little bit, like so. Okay. Get the rest of the wrinkles. Like that. Bring back some of the detail. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Layer, Merge Visible. Now, I'm going to add a second layer of Super Blur and do the same thing again. Hit on my black mask, making sure I have white in the color picker. B for brush. And get rid of some of the larger wrinkles. You can use that blur layer over and over and over again as many times as you need it. Okay, looks pretty good. Layer, Merge Visible. Now I'm going to crop this image in closer. So I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool and I think I'm just going to pull that like this. And go up to Image, Crop, and then hit Command D to deselect the marching ants around there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is kind of open up this image a little bit and give it a slightly warmer glow. So I'm going to try Soft Warm Light and run that. And I kind of like the way that looks. Pull back a little bit on that. And I think we're about done. I'm going to leave this as it is. Go up to layer, merge visible, and now we're going to apply the texture. This is the watercolor collection texture I'm going to use. Um, it's called pink and yellow, and so I'm just going to take this, grab my move tool, and I'm going to slide it right on top of this image like so. Press Command T or Control T, and you're going to see these little bounding boxes, and you just drag these 
to size over your image. It doesn't have to be perfect. And here we can see that the texture has formed a new layer. Remember, after you resize your texture, press return or enter to make sure that you seal in the transformation. So now we have our first layer on top of this image. And let's start playing with blend mode. So I'll choose hard light. I'm down a little bit. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer by going up to Layer, Duplicate, and I've got a brand new copy. And this one I think I'm going to set to Screen and pull that way down and keep this at 70 or so, like that. Lower that a little bit. And there we have our image. Layer, Merge Visible. Now I'm going to crop it some more. Um, get my little rectangular marquee tool again. And I'm just going to pull it like this. Image Crop. And Command D, get rid of those marching ants. And there we have our finished image. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, happy painting!